everybody, it's Katie, and this is going to be episode number four in my Rush Review series, and that book today is going to be A Tale of Two Centuries by Rachel Harris. I gave this book a four out of five on Goodreads, but as I'm thinking about it, I realized that I was kind of being a little bit too generous. The one thing that kind of threw me off about the book is that nowhere on the cover did it say that it was book two of a series. Uh, it does say uh, author of my super sweet 16th century, which is right there. You can see it. Yeah. Um, and I thought that that was just kind of saying, hey, this person wrote this book too. But no, that is the first novel in this series, just so you know. However, that really only pertains importantly for like the first two chapters. Otherwise, it just follows this story between Alessandra and Austin, and you do see Kat, who is uh, the main character of the first book, is quite prominent in this book, but you know, you really don't have to absolutely read the first book in order to be able to read and comprehend this book accurately. Um, it was very, very young adult. Um, there was a lot of tropes in this book. The thing that really just kind of bothered me was Austin throughout this book. Um, he was just, his emotions ran so extreme. He would be very, very, very happy or he would be very, very, very mad. And I was actually scared at certain points while reading his reactions to things in this book uh, that I was afraid that he was going to be so severe in his reactions that he would actually do harm or damage, which I did not like that aspect of the book. Um. It also left out a lot of things that were uh, time appropriate. The uh, Alessandra is from the 16th century and she's coming to the 21st century. And I've done a lot of research into the medieval times in the 16th and 14th and 15th centuries and uh, for other things. And it just, it left out quite a lot. Um, it, because we're reading it in first person from her perspective. Things like that shouldn't have been left out, I think. So with that, that was that was really kind of the, my big problem with it. It was a romance between Alessandra and Austin. Um, it, kind, it, was, it was weird. It wasn't slow burn and it wasn't too instant, but it wasn't, it didn't feel natural, which also kind of bothered me a little bit too but all in all it had a happy ending it had the romance which is what I was going for and if you're interested in something like this then definitely go and take the time and read it it's a quick read it took me two sittings to read this book and overall it wasn't that bad the cover is cute it's so soft it's pretty um, I like it. I think the cover is actually kind of a good depiction of what the book uh, holds and what it is. Um, they also like, I don't know, they were on French time or something. They had amazing travel skills and I just didn't think that that, and amazing taxi cab fares too. Yeah. Um, anyway, that is A Tale of Two Cities by Rachel Harris. Um, Thinking about it now, I would probably give this a two and a half, three stars on Goodreads. Uh, I was really generous when I had updated it. So uh, I'll probably see if I can go back and fix that. Um, so who knows, you may see that I have now changed my review to that. And uh, yeah, there we go. That is episode number four of Rush Reviews. Check me out on all my social media. I'm on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Snapchat. I have a website, an email. I'm on Goodreads, and you can find me on Facebook. Insert a creative outro here, and I will talk to you later. Bye.